So, para sa next example natin, uh, meron tayong higit sa isa na vector. So, ano-ano yung mga vectors na meron tayo ngayon? So, we have the first vector, which has a value of uh, 25 newtons. So, it is a force. 25 newtons, 50 degrees south of west. And another vector is 40 newtons, 15 degrees south of west. So, there are two ways on how we can illustrate uh, the two vectors para pagsabahin natin sila. Yung una is just to plot the vectors separately. So, yung una, meron tayong, nandito yung 50 degrees or 25 newtons, 50 degrees south of west. So, nasa area siya ng southwest. Gayun din yung pangalawa, which is 15 degrees or 14 newtons, 15 degrees south of west. So, nasa pareho silang direction. The other representation to this is we assume that the two vectors are done consecutively. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Sila ay uh, naibigay o naproduce ng magkasunod. So, una, perhaps, yung 25 newtons, 50 degrees south of west, ito siya. Then, from that point, nag-start naman yung another force na ibinigay, which is 40 newtons, 15 degrees south of west. So, Meron lang dalawang vectors, pero ganun din ang gagawin natin kagaya ng kinumpit natin kanina. So, we will find the horizontal and the vertical components of each uh, vector. So, simulan natin yung unang uh, vector. So, ito yung 25 newtons, 50 degrees south of west. So, paano natin nahanap? Gagaya din ang pag-compute natin sa naunang mga examples. So, we use the trigonometric functions. So, para mahanap natin ang value ng vertical component or the y component or the opposite side uh, with respect to the angle, so, ang ginamit natin is the sine function. So, sine 50 degrees, kasi 50 degrees yung given natin, times 25 newtons. So, ano ang value ng ating sine 50 pag Uh, pinrest natin siya sa scientific calculator. So, we have 0.76604444431. And we just multiply it by the given uh, value of force, which is 25 newtons, at ang nakuha natin na vertical component is 19.15 newtons. On the other hand, para makuha natin ang value ng horizontal component, ng unang vector. So, we use the cosine function. So, paano natin i-compute? Cosine, 50 degrees, which is the given, times 25 newtons. And pag pinrest natin ang cosine, 50 degrees, ang value na meron tayo is 0.6427876097 times 25 newtons. And we have the um, vertical component or the x component or the adjacent side which is 16.07 newtons. So, natapos natin computein yung vertical and horizontal component ng unang uh, vector. So, same process, kunin naman natin ang horizontal at vertical component nitong second vector. The 40 newtons 15 degrees south of west. So first, we get the opposite uh, component or the opposite side, which is also the vertical component or the y component. So using the function sine, 15 degrees times 40 newtons. So ang magiging answer natin to that is 10.35 newtons. Pagdating naman sa horizontal component or the x component or the adjacent side, so we use the function cosine. So cosine times 50 degrees times 40 newtons. So ang makukuha nating value dito is 38.64 newtons. So what do we do next? So we just add the overall vector. In this case, mapapansin niyo na 
parehong vector ay nasa same direction. So, south of west. That's why, hindi na tayo nag-iba ng convention or ng sign natin. However, if the direction is opposite to the other given vector, magkakaiba tayo ng symbol. So, halimbawa, ito ay nasa north of west. So, one of the uh, resultant vector will become negative. O sir, ano ang ibig sabihin ng negative? Ang ibig sabihin ng negative ay nasa uh, opposite side siya ng kabilang vector. So, that is how we represent uh, the sign. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na unreal number siya. Ibig sabihin lang ng negative at saka ng positive is direction. Pero since we are referring to uh, the direction na pareho naman sila, which is south of west, so hindi na tayo nag-iba ng convention natin. So we add the two vectors. So we add first the vertical component. So uh, vertical component of 1 and vertical component of the second vector, which is 29.5 newtons. On the other side, uh, horizontal component 1, horizontal component 2 ng vector, ang uh, magiging sagot natin is 54.71 newton. So, yun yung resultant vector ng dalawang given natin. Doon na ba natapos? Hindi. So, ang meron lang tayo is the vertical component and the horizontal component. Ang nawawala is the hypotenuse o yung diagonal natin na side. So, paano natin nahanapin yung diagonal na side? With the use of the Pythagorean theorem, which is C equals A square plus B square. The A and the B represents the two sides. So, instead of using A square, B square, ang ginamit natin is summation of a horizontal vector, which is this, and summation of the vertical, oh sorry, summation of vertical vector or component and the summation of the horizontal component and let's not forget that we need to square both of them. So we substitute the value, nandito, and then we square. So mapapansin niyo na pati yung newtons ay na square. Kasi lahat ng component noong uh, quantity na yun or ng magnitude na yun kailangang square including the units. So, we have square root of 3,863.4341 newton square. So, we take the square root of this value and we get 62.16 newton. So, this becomes the value of the resultant hypotenuse. Okay? So, ilan naman ang value ng panibagong angle na nabuo doon sa resultant vector? So, para natin mahanap yung value ng angle na yun, so, we use tangent. So, tangent theta equals summation of uh, vertical component over summation of horizontal component. So, we just substitute the value sa natin to nakuha dito din. Then we get tangent theta equals 0.5392067264. Now, we need to isolate the theta or the angle value here. So, we need to get the inverse function of tangent para makuha natin yung pinaka-angle value natin. So, paano natin kukunin yung inverse function ng tangent? So, you get your calculator, press shift, press tangent, and press the decimal numbers that you can see here. And press equals. And the result to that is the angle value of the angle of the new or the resultant vector. Sa case natin, we have 28.33 degrees.